G'day, Mac Grace here. I want to quickly today talk about some of the UI UX design trends of 2022, as I've come across a really interesting survey. All right, I'm going to jump into my tablet here, uxtools.co. Really interesting website, does some really interesting surveys around UX and UI design. And I implore you to go and get the link in the description below and have a look at their wider survey. All right, what I want to look at here is the most popular design tools. Here we go, we can see Figma is by far the market leader in the space, followed quickly by Adobe and then Sketch. Now it's important to know that Figma has now been acquired by Adobe and I don't know how that's going to play out, but obviously these two at the top are going to merge together. Figma is something we use internally here at Flying Donkey and it's a fantastic piece of software. It's been a really big darling of the industry and it's just what it's doing is it's listening to consumers and giving them what they want. Figma is a fantastic tool to not only do UI design, but it's also great for prototyping, which I'll talk about in a second. And if we go back here in the UI design tool growth, we can see in 2017, Figma had nearly only 10% of the market share, which is very little. You can see up here in 2022, it's covered the market in what will be considered a monopoly because it's in 90% of the market share. Figma is really the standard today in the marketplace, and I implore you if you're doing or building any SaaS products, to do, design, and use Figma. Figma is a fantastic tool. I don't know how it's going to get taken over by Adobe, but right now it is a great tool to build designs and really transfer that requirements to the developers. At the same time, we also find huge value in doing prototyping to feedback to customers, clients, and investors because they actually get to see what's going on in the prototype. I want to jump into my next section I want to pull out of this survey, and that's around basic prototyping. Now, basic prototyping is really where you've just got a page, you've got a few areas you want to click through, and you want to sort of make it look like an app. So in Figma, you can do this fairly simply, and it's actually adding some more advanced prototyping. Now, the reason they've broken out basic versus advanced prototyping is because there's other tools that can give more advanced prototyping. More animations, more game design, etc., can be done in other tools. I believe ProtoPie is really the one that's pushing the envelope there. We're not going to talk about it in this video. I want to just concentrate on basic prototyping because for most SaaS products, that's what you're going to need. Do you use software for basic prototyping? Yes. And that's, again, the vast majority of people are using prototyping, which I love to see. Prototyping is a fantastic way to get those ideas on paper as well as convey them to developers, as I've said. We have a quick look over here and we see what are the most basic tools for using prototyping. Again, Figma is by far and away the large market leader. So essentially what I want to take from this is that Figma is now the market standard for both UI design and also prototyping. And I don't see that changing in the near future. Prototyping is an extremely valuable step that you can do in your SaaS business and it will really help you accelerate your feature development. If there's one thing I would employ you to do, if you aren't doing prototyping now, you should 100% be doing it tomorrow. It does away with those lengthy long documents or those back and forth on words and text because what I found over the years is that many people interpret words differently, but they all interpret pictures the same way. All right, that wraps up my review of the survey. There's a few other questions that are interesting you might want to have a look at. I've linked to the description below. Overall, thanks to UI Tools for the survey, and my recommendation to you is make sure you include prototyping in your process going forward.